Welcome to Alaska. Alaska has more active glaciers than anywhere else in the world. In fact, 5% of Alaska is covered by ice year-round. Some glaciers are easily accessible than others, but Seward's Exit Glacier is one of Alaska's most accessible glaciers. So that takes us to the first option on the list, Exit Glacier Trail and Hardin Ice Field Trail. These two trails start at Exit Glacier Nature Center in the Kenai Fjords National Park. If you are starting from the city of Seward, the Nature Center is located 12 miles northwest of Seward. You will turn on to Exit Glacier Road at mile 3 of the Seward Highway. Exit Glacier Trail is an easy 2.2 mile hike with an elevation gain of 429 feet. Very manageable if you're looking for an easy but rewarding hike. This trail takes you from the Cottonwood Forest to the Glacier View, a panoramic vista of exit glaciers spilling down from the Hardin Ice Field. This trail is not only pleasant, but it unfolds the history of 195 years of documented accelerating pullback of the glacier. So keep an eye out for the signs on the trail and even on the road leading to the park. These signs are marking the recession of the glacier throughout the years. If you're up for a challenge, from the same trailhead is the mighty Hardin Ice Field Trail, or HIT, as locals refer to it. We're gonna start from the Exit Glacier Nature Center and then we will go all the way up to Marmot Meadows and then the next stop will be top of the cliffs and then the end of the trail. Hardin Icefield Trail is one of the most spectacular day hikes in Alaska. This is a strenuous hike of 8.2 miles and an elevation gain of 3,812 feet. You will experience breathtaking vistas of the vast Hardin Ice Field, which feeds nearly 40 glaciers. This is unreal, unbelievable. I'm running out of words to even describe the magnitude of the ice field. Mountain here, giant valley, another mountain over there. If it's just a sea of ice on a plane up here, just in its own world. The view from the top is worth the effort, but if you don't have time or the physical ability to get to the end of the trail, a shorter hike to Marmot Meadows or the top of the cliffs overlook also offers incredible views of Exit Glacier. Before you start your hike, check with the rangers about bear activity in the area, read the signs at the trailhead, make sure that you have bear spray with you, enough water, snacks, and some good reliable hiking shoes. Next on the list, Flat Top Mountain Trail. Flat Top Mountain Trail is one of the most popular hiking trails near Anchorage. It's located in the Shugach State Park. The state park charges an entrance fee of $5 that you can pay by cash or credit. This trail is 3.3 miles long with an elevation gain of 1,430 feet. This is an awesome hike with incredible views the whole way up, diverse wildflowers, and we were even able to see a moose on this trail. As you approach the summit, you will have to do some scrambling, which can get tricky and dangerous in snow and rain, so definitely make sure you have proper shoes with a good grip. Portage Pass Trail. This is the popular hiking trail in the city of Whittier. Whittier is located at the head of the Passage Canal about 60 miles southeast of Anchorage. It's known for being the gateway to Prince William Sound. If you are driving from Anchorage, you will have to drive through the Anton Anderson Memorial Tunnel, the longest highway tunnel in North America. It's 2.5 miles long and has a schedule for when it's open and closed depending on the season. So make sure to check the schedule online and plan accordingly. Portage Pass Trail is 4.2 miles long and an elevation gain of 1,433 feet. It offers stunning views of Portage Glacier and Portage Lake. We were welcomed by a lot of rain, but on a clear day, you are in for an incredible treat. The trail is really uh, overgrown, and so with the rain, man, we're soaked. Crow Pass, specifically Crow Pass, Crystal Lake, and Barnes Mountain Trail. This is another trail in the Shugach Mountain State Park in Girdwood area. The trail linked in the description box is 6.2 miles long with an elevation gain of about 2,000 feet. This hike is so diverse and exciting with stunning views of the mountains, remains from a mining operation, 
water crossings, wildflowers, and much more. At the top of the trail where Crystal Lake is, there is a cabin available for backpackers to sleep in with a required reservation. And finally, Reed Lakes Trail. Reed Lakes Trail is located in Hatcher Pass area and it tops all of the other hikes in my opinion, mainly because it's diverse with a variety of terrain throughout the 8.7 miles of this hike. Boulder fields that offer some incredible scrambling, water crossing, clear waterfalls, diverse wildlife like marmots, ptarmigan, an emerald blue lake, and a half-frozen lake at the end of this trail. The views are breathtaking to say the least. If you are in Palmer, this hike is absolutely worth the time and effort. So these are some of our favorite hiking trails that we enjoyed the most in Alaska. If we missed your favorite trail, let us know in a comment. And if you found this video to be useful, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. My name's Habiba, this is Trekking Pals, and I will see you very soon on a new adventure.